Hello, welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. In this video, we are going to have a tutorial on the topic bearings or bearings. If you are new, consider subscribing to the channel, like, share, and leave your comment as we get interacted. Now, have you ever wondered how the captain of the ship find their way from one place to another? How are they able to maneuver their way? You know, the sea has no direction. It is so vast. How are they able to find their, their way? Or better still, to find their bearings when they go to sea, moving from one country to another. The answer to your question is bearings. They use bearings in finding their ways. Now, bearing is just measurement of direction using angles. Measurement of directions using angles. So they find their direction, where they are coming from and where they are going using angles. And to do this perfectly, they use what they call the cardinal point. Our north, south, west, and east. So in a nutshell, bearings are just measurement of direction. So if you are measuring direction using what? Angles. And we said that this angles measurement is made possible using the cardinal point. And we know our cardinal point make use of north. South, East, and what? West. So to put it on a diagram or diagrammatically, we can have our cardinal point in this way, where we have North, West, East, and what? South. So we also know that this cardinal point produces uh, four regions, which of the regions stand for what? An angle of 90 degrees or the measurement of each region we call it a quadrant this is going to be 90 90 90 so they are able to use this in finding their bearing wherever they are now measurement of angles in terms of bearing is done in two ways one we call it three figure measurement whereby your measurement or your movement is always measured from the north, you, your measurement is always measured from the north in clockwise direction. So we measure clockwise direction. Then in second, we use both the north and the south pole and measure towards the east or towards the west. What I mean is that, all right, so what it means is that in bearing measurement, we are using two ways. One, using the north pole and measurement is in clockwise direction. I said earlier on that that is called the three-figure measurement. Meaning your measurement is supposed to be reading in three figures. If the number is less than 100, we precede the number with zero. As in, any measurement, any angle measured in the first quadrant is going to be preceded before zero. Then number two is using the north or the south pole only. Then you are measuring towards the east or the west. Now, using the first one, for example, if I indicate a point, let's say I have a point A here, measurement is always from the center, which is the origin. If I put here 63 degree, and you are asked to find the bearing of the point A, this is where the point A, you are going to measure for the north, measuring from the north. Now, the bearing of A from the north or from the point O is going to be 0, 0,63 degree. The bearing from the north, your measurement is from the north. So, if you are moving from the north, you meet the, the line connecting the point and the center that is your your measurement now if in case let's say we have a point here that have uh, 43 degree and we put a point b 
and you were asked to find the bearing of the point B from where? From the center or from the origin. Don't forget, you are measuring from the north downwards. So you are measuring from the north up to this place. And in the beginning, we mentioned that the angle in each quadrant measured toward 90 degrees. So if from east to south is 90 and part of it is taken as 43, it means the other part is going to what? 47. So I am going to add this 47. So the bearing of, of B is going to be right away from the north to east will be 90 degrees. Then from east to the point B is going to be 47 degrees. And that we know we will get something like 137 degrees degree. I didn't bring zero because already this is what? Three figures. So this is what we mean by measurement using the North Pole and your direction is only for the North Upward. Alright, let's take a question in that direction. Alright, so find the bearing of point A, B, C, D and E from the center in the diagram. So we are asked to find the bearing, so the bearing for the center, if you are taking the first point A, we know it's going to be from the north. You are using the first uh, method or first way. From the north down to the point A, and that will give us 0, 60 degrees. Then if I am to find from that of the point B, don't forget all the way from north to east will give us what? 90 degrees from the east to the point B will give us 55 degree so that give us 145 degree then if I take the point C where is C all the way from north to east 90 east to south 90 so 90 degrees Plus from the south to the point C is what? 40 degrees. And I believe 180, that will give us 220 degrees. The bearing from the point C, uh, of the point C, from O, that is our center, will give us 220. Now, if I want to find that of D, D is continuing from the point C, so all the way 90 90 so I have 90 degrees 90 degrees plus 40 degrees don't forget we don't have any angle here written but there's an angle if I have taken the 40 it means the remaining from C to west supposed to be what 50 because 50 plus 40 must give you the 90 so if 50 the top is taken at 35 here will be 15, I guess. Yeah, 15. So I'll be adding this 15 to 40 to this. So 15 degree. And that will be one 235 degrees. And I believe you can find this. Okay, this is uh, 65 degree. I believe with this explanation, you should be able to find the bearing of E from the center. So if you are moving from the north to east, you know you have your 90, east to south, 90, south to west, 90. This must also give you 90, but we have taken the top. So I believe you know what bearing you are going to have of E. If you know the answer, hit me up in the comment section. Let's see what you can get. All right. For the second aspect, we are saying using the North Pole or the South Pole. It means in this measurement, the measurement is not only measured in North Pole. We are using both North and South. And the measurement is also not measured only in clockwise. We are measuring towards the East, meaning this direction, or towards the West. If I am on the South, I am moving towards the east. I might be moving in anti-clockwise direction. 
if I am also here, moving towards the, the west, I must be moving in what? Clockwise. From here, clockwise. From here, coming to west, anti-clockwise. So the bearing in this place is not going to be measured taking uh, clockwise direction only. It is only in the first measurement that the clockwise direction is taken. Alright. So in the second one, both north and south are going to be used. But in this case, our measurement is going to be is going to be either northeast measurement or northwest or southeast or southwest. Don't forget, you're not going to turn other way around. It's going to be either northeast, northeast, north. Meaning the measurement starts from where? The north. Towards where? The east. Then here is also going to be the north towards the west. Then here, south towards the east. Then south towards the west. Alright, so if you want to use this measurement for this question, the measurement from north to our A, which is the point A, is going to be north 60 degrees towards what? The east. So the more we are seeing this, north 30, uh, 60 degrees east, meaning movement from the north moving towards where? The east. And that will give you this. Now, if I want to find this, now, one thing you have to also know that the angle we are measuring is an acute angle made with the north or the south. Any acute angle made with the north or the south. So here you can see that this is an acute angle made with this south, made with the north, so I can get my measurement. But here, the angle here, I am looking for bearing of what? D. But you can see that I want to use from here going. Because I am going to move from south. I have bypassed northeast. I can't say it's south. So I might use what? Southeast. Then the angle that B make with the south is what I'm going to represent. So in this case, 55 minus this will give us 35. So my measurement is going to be S 35 degree towards what? The east. South moving 35 degrees towards the east will produce here to be 55 if I subtract from 90. I believe I get the concept. All right. Then let's go to that of what? C. Already I can see that this is an acute angle made with the south. So I believe you know what to write. That is going to be south 40 degrees movement towards where? The west. You are measuring 40 degrees towards the west. And you meet the point C. 40 towards the west. The point C. I believe you get that clear. Beautiful. Let's go to D. Which angle is D making with the south? It's making 15 plus 40. That is going to be 55. So I am going to have that measurement for angle, the point D, to be south moving 55 degree towards the west. South, 55 degrees towards the west will give you the point D. Then to E, the angle that this is making with what? Don't forget, I cannot move here. If not, I'll be saying west, north. But I have to move here. Meaning, from the north, I'll be moving towards where? The west. The angle it makes with the north is 65. So, 65 degrees towards the west. So if you, if you see this, you, you can be given this also, whereby you will be asked to represent on a diagram. Meaning from the north, you are going to the west. So you are measuring 65 on the north, measuring 65. Meaning the acute angle made with the north is 65. So that is what we use in measuring bearing. So bearing can be measured in two ways. Either the first 
considering only the North Pole measuring in clockwise direction, or the second, consider both the North Pole, the South Pole, and your measurement should be towards the West or towards the East. I believe you grab the concept. Good. If you really understand this, then don't forget to like the video, share with your learning colleagues, and leave your comment. If you have not subscribed, please, I will indulge you to subscribe and click on what notification bell to receive more notification if a video is uploaded. In the next episode, we will be dealing with the actual calculations of bearing, that is distance bearing form of a bearing. Don't miss that. See you in that episode.